Welcome to another Guide You Outdoors episode. I'm Scott Ellis. And I'm Austin Borg. And today we're gonna go for a little hike up a Scutney Mountain up the Windsor Trail. Gonna get outside, play with the dogs a little bit. Just get out in nature a little. Explore the woods. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. So going for a walk in the woods for me is a lot of things. Some people, uh, I think going in the woods can be boring. But one of the ideas we love to show you at Guide You Outdoors is that nature can really tell you stories. If you look in the woods, you're going to see different stories. The trees tell stories, the stumps tell stories, the tracks tell stories. And uh, when you open your eyes, it's not a teachable moment, it's a teachable continuum out here in the woods. And it really can inspire you to open your eyes and see what there is out there. Maybe probably digging out their back exit to their home. Or maybe getting rid of a rotting pine cone. Chipmunk, squirrel. Many of uh, the animals that are living under the snow are subnivian, meaning under the snow, like submarine is under the water. And the snow actually creates an insulating layer for a lot of these animals to live underneath. The snow's like a down jacket, so they're nice and toasty warm underneath there with the little tunnels and having a good time in the winter under the snow. So this forest all around us now, you can feel it's much darker all of a sudden. Um, and that's due to the trees that are here. It's another piece of the story. This is all hemlock right in this area. And there's a nice big uh, gorge on this other side of this hill where there's a little stream running through it. And that stream is creating this shaded little area. So it's an ecotone. It's a different zone of forest ecology in here. And these hemlocks do a great job of keeping the stream cool all summer. Um, one sad story is there is a, a bug called the hemlock woolly adulgent that is coming into the zone. And, um, it's a little spittle bug that lives underneath the hemlocks and it will eventually, probably in the next 10 years, all of these hemlock trees will die here, which will then make the stream's temperature rise up, um, which will affect fish and affect the predators that eat the fish. So it's another piece of how everything is connected and we really have to cherish these environments while we have them because they're constantly changing. A beautiful little trail here, the Windsor Trail in Windsor, Vermont, the birthplace of Vermont. It's a pretty nice spot. Right here we found some chaga on this nice yellow birch tree. And it's pretty dead, but it should be easy to break off. Looks kind of like burnt charcoal, but on the inside you have this beautiful orange. And this is super rich in antioxidants and can also be used to as tinder to start a fire. A little waterfall, so it's a nice fall, a little bit this time of year. Almost the solstice, winter solstice, shortest day of the year, so things are a little bit freezing. <laughs> Ozzy just crossed that waterfall from the top. I don't know how smart that was, but you gotta take risks in life, right? Well, it's funny, you know, we talk about getting out here to disconnect and uh, then we use YouTube to connect with everyone. Yeah. Uh, we had a comment the other day that said, I would have never found myself creating the woods so much that I'd watch people do this on TV. <laughs> and, you know, he's like, I got to get back out there. Yeah. This part of the hike where my heart starts pumping a little bit. Let's me know I'm alive. 
trick when your heart starts pumping when you're hiking is not to stop, <laughs> but to find that groove where you're walking and all of a sudden it just, your feet are in rhythm with that heartbeat, your breathing's in rhythm, and it all just feels good. But then that big steep hill comes, <laughs> which we got right here, it makes you recognize that you're probably not in as good a shape as you used to be. Steady steps make a difference too when you're hiking. You just gotta be confident with your feet. It's the way you gotta be in the woods. If you're not confident, you're not gonna enjoy it as much, but if you're like, you kick this creek cross his butt, and step like that, you tend to fall less. People who are scared to fall are the ones that do. I guess that could be true in life as well. Some really cool frost whore on this branch here. This is what we're going up. Yep, this is called frost whore, Ozzy. It is. Uh, it's the uh, liquid in the air immediately freezing onto the crystal as it grows on. It's part of a liquid growth thing. It has to have some change in pressure to kind of push down the wet from high pressure above it. getting a little bit tighter up here now. It's definitely more of a woodsy feel. The frost is really coming into these ice sheets all over the trees. And we're up in a cloud in winter. And clouds can be pretty frozen in winter. Whew. Trees definitely much more dense up here. You can just see how going up in this little amount of elevation can make a totally big difference. Now we're seeing spruce trees and fir trees and big old birches. Um, it's like a different forest, different land as you walk up. When the wind picks up, you can hear the crinkling of all the, the ice that's on the branches up there. But for the most part, it's pretty calm today, which is nice. It's hovering right around 32 degrees, which is pretty good hiking weather. Actually, a little warm. Whew. So, we're doing cribs Vermont style. This is cribs in Vermont. And uh, check this little shelter out. Pretty cool in the winter. Fun one to find. Never been here before. But uh, welcome to my crib. As you come in, I have wire bunk beds held up by chains. Chains hold up my bunk beds. Definitely uh, after the main construction, someone decided to put these in. And when you come into the dark shelter, one of the coolest features is a fireplace. Yeah, how's that looking? Pretty cool. There's someone left a tarp. You can put that over the wall right here. And you got a fire going in there. And you can stay pretty toasty warm here in the winter. I wouldn't say it's a five star hotel, but in Vermont, you gotta do with what you get. Thanks for watching. If you want to watch more videos, remember to subscribe to our YouTube page and like us on Facebook.